Infinity Photo Video Tutorials by Andrew Buckle. This tutorial I'm just going to show you continuation of videos, two videos that I created earlier. So now I've got this image here and it's been created using Deform, Mirror, Infinity, but it's also been developed using 3D models and brushes in Photoshop. Now I'm just going to say export and I'm just to say file export and what you can do then you've got options here for PNG I'm just going to save that I've actually already done that so I'm just going to just click export and files exported save a few seconds I've actually done that and I've opened it as well so just file open to actually open the design in Photoshop now once you've got this design of course you can then manipulate it again so filter and stylize and oil paint Click OK, oil paint, oil paint, and so on and so on. You could apply it five, ten times just to smear the design. Oil paint is one of those filters that Affinity doesn't have, but unfortunately doesn't have, Photoshop doesn't have a mirror. So it's sort of nice to have that sort of combination of tools. Pity that one tool doesn't have all of them. But, uh, and of course you can modify the colour, colour look up, and you can change the colour, maybe make it green red, pastel hues, which is pretty garish, unusual, um, golden blue, and so on and so on. Click OK. And also modify it again in a camera raw filter. And of course, again, what you can do, 3D, go to new mesh from layer, depth layer, and maybe use the plane. And I'm just going to click plane. Could have gone for the cylinder, but the cylinder creates really truly weird 3D models. The plane option creates a more recognizable but still manipulable design and it takes a few seconds to quickly process and I'm just gonna let it process. One trouble with it is it always it seems to be always a distance away from the thing so and I'm just gonna zoom in and you can actually still still see the actual design there. You can still see the petals of there and it takes a few seconds obviously now to process and I'm going to flatten it don't want to right, click OK now again oil paint and if you want to see the settings oil paint filter and oil paint and it's just set to the maximum basically stylization then just click OK uh, click oil paint again and you can see what's happening you can actually smear the effect oil paint and just going to go to vibrance image and vibrancy vibrance and design there and if you want to tweak it further with a filter filter and camera raw filter just to okay tweak tint change that temperature make it still keep it blue change it and maybe highlight a particular part of the design And there you have it. Click OK. Again, vibrancy again, just to boost it up just a little bit more. There, a lovely sort of rose, unusual blue rose anyway in this case, background using 3D models multiple times to create some very abstract, sort of swervy, white, wavy sort of designs that I hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.